Hey guys, so I wanted to get on here quickly because on a surprising move, Apple has re-released iOS 26 Beta 1. Yes, surprisingly, Apple has just issued a revised version of iOS 26 Developer Beta 1. This is strange. Apple typically does not do this when it comes to major software updates, right? But in just three days, Apple has now issued, or four days, it was released on Monday. Now the revised version released on Friday the 13th here. Apple has issued another update. Now this update does not change really much in terms of the software itself. Now you can head on over into settings, general software update, and the latest revision for iOS 26 developer beta one should be available. Now it looks like it's only available for the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 16 lineup, at least as of the moment I'm filming this video, I cannot get the revised version to populate on older devices like iPhone 11, iPhone 12, 13, 14. None of these devices received the revised version of iOS 26 developer beta one just a few days after the first initial release. Now, a lot of you guys were asking, is the control center actually fixed? This was one of the questions I was getting on social media. And let me go ahead and show you rather than just tell you, I took a screenshot of the before and after, and you can be the judge. It doesn't look to me like the control center background blurred has been changed at all. It looks like this beta, the revised of iOS 26 beta one, actually fixes an issue where some users trying to update couldn't get the software to populate on iPhone 15 or 16. Some users were having issues where the software was unavailable or the software update section was unavailable, therefore not being able to install iOS 26 developer beta one when it was officially released earlier this week on Monday. So if you were having that issue where your iPhone wouldn't download the software or install the software on iPhone 15 or 16, I recommend you power off your iPhone, reboot, then go back into settings, general, software update, select the beta, turn it off and turn it back on, and then reload and hopefully, for those of you having issues loading the beta initially, the revised version of iOS 26 beta 1 hopefully will address that issue for you. Aside from that, honestly, I can't see anything else that's new within iOS 26 revised here on Friday the 13th. So weird, Apple typically doesn't do this, but just so you guys know, iOS 26 revised version is now available. iPhone 15 lineup, iPhone 16 lineup. Thank you for watching this quick update, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.